and today I'm going to show you how to make a modern puffer fish, or some of you call it blowfish, porcupine fish, whatever you may call it, lamb. This is one I've already completed, and these are the items you're going to need to complete the project. Of course, you're going to need the star of the show, the puffer fish. These can be bought on eBay. The smaller ones are cheaper. The 14 to 15 inch larger ones usually run about $30. You're going to need a stick or a rod lamp. Um, or they can be called a figurine lamp. These can be purchased at thrift stores or online, usually around $20 per lamp. You're going to need some pliers, pot holders, tweezers, tape measure, sharpie, and a drill. If you don't have a drill, there's no big deal, but you will need a skewer or a very sharp chopstick to, to skewer that bad boy. First thing that you're going to do, assuming that you didn't buy a prepackaged lamp kit, um, is you're going to pull these little doodads that are on the side up so that you reveal the inside of the heart. You're just going to give it a quick little squeeze, comes right off. Clean and simple. Then you're going to get to the bottom of the lamp. If you notice on the bottom, there is a little nut right here. You need to twist this at the same time as you're twisting the top in order to get it off. That's how the lamp rod works. It sounds really strange, but when you see me do it, you'll understand. So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna clamp on your pliers. They're clamped and you're going to twist. And while you're twisting that, you see how I'm twisting? It's not getting loose. You have to hold this at the same time while you're twisting so that you can get this knot off the bottom of the base. Once you do that, you're ready to pull the lamp rod out. Feeling this. The next step is removing this bad boy. This you're going to spin, spin, and spin, and then you've exposed the cord. This part is where it gets a little hairy. Uh, I know you were wondering why I brought the tweezers. So, in the inside of this, um, I don't know how close you can get, there's a little mechanism. When you try to turn the lamp cage, I don't know if that's what it's really called, but that's what I'm going to call it. Um, there's a little golden piece that keeps it from turning off, which is probably for safety. So I just stick my little tweezers on in, and I'm going to pull it back. This is not going to affect the lamp. It'll still work, I promise. On the inside of this little lamp piece, it's the piece that's on the very bottom, right there. It's gold, and it's shaped kind of like an L. You have to pry that little L piece up so that you can un- so that you can turn this guy off. That part was not hard. So then you just unscrew this. Got that. Then get to this part. Um, this is another reason I use the tweezers. Uh, you've got two very, very, very small little screws on both sides that are connecting the wiring to the lamp, which actually is what in turn transfers the electricity to the bulb so it'll turn it on. And I like to use the little tweezers to get in there. I mean, if, you, if you've got very small sunglass uh, flatheads, then you can use those to get those off, but, or you can use a pair of tweezers. What you're going to do is you, after you've loosened these little screws, you're going to reveal the actual pieces of wire right there. So, I loosened both of them so that I got, I've got them right here. You want to note um, which side these are on. So I can see that I took this guy off the side that has that little L thingy that I don't know what it is, but it looks like an L. And I've got this side is on the other side, on the right side. So I'm going to put that right in front of me, and I'm going to take the permanent marker. I'm just going to put a little mark on this just so I know for a fact that that's the one that goes on the L side. All right? Then... Going to untie this little knot. See, it can get really mixed up, but I know which one this goes in. On. This comes off, the heart base comes off, and that's when it's time to have fun. So now we just need to figure out how to get this giant beast on top of this rod. This is when you're going to bust out your skewers or your drill. Now we're going to drill through this bad boy. You're going to take out your marker. You want to have a little target. My target's going to be right here. 
right? You really need the, the pot holders. Um, to be honest, I cut myself three times doing the last one, so they're, they're really necessary. And then after you have your little mark, just gonna sit them straight up, put on your drill bit. Because my drill bit isn't long enough to go all the way through the puffer fish, I actually still have to use the skewers, which is great why I brought them out. And please note that they do stuff the blowfish with a type of um, stuffing. I'm not sure if it's the hard foam kind of stuffing. It, this one feels soft, but in this guy it was definitely more of a foam. So I started the process off with my drill bit and I got about halfway through. And then if you can see on the bottom, I've used the skewer to make the puncture hole on the other side through. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick another couple skewers in in order to just open them up, make sure you have to make sure you've got enough room to get through with the rod. So you just kind of dig around in there, make sure that the foam allows the rod to pass through easily. Um, now that you've got your hole through your puffer fish, you've got to get it on. So you're going to position the rod. prefer to try to stick it in on, through the top. So you're going to hold the wires down. Clearly you want the wire. So you're going to fold it over and you're going to stick the rod through. Ooh. And he's on! Jackpot! Um, as you can see, there is some foam coming out of the top. Don't worry about that, we can clean that up later. You see the cord, how we folded it over? We're just gonna pull that guy right on through. Now that you've got him out and ready to go, he's skewered, ready to become a, a real lamb. Lots of foam. Um, you're going to pull this guy down and you need to get the nut on the other side and just like the last time, um, when you tighten on this end, it spins the top end. So you want to make sure that you tighten it most of the screw down here. So you're just going to use your fingers to do this. There's no need in, you know, busting out the pliers quite yet. See how I screwed it several screws down, several little twists. Now, I'm going to put the tops back on, but first, you have to put the little harp thing on. If you forget, you're gonna have to take it all apart and put the harp thing back on. It's happened to me before, it's happened twice. I'm not proud of it, but things like this do happen. And then you're going to put this little guy on. He's the round cup. He goes in. And then you're going to connect this back together. Super simple. You find the one that has the black on it that you marked. That would be this one right here. And if you don't remember, I said that this one was going to go on the side with the L. I found a little L. I'm going to, super simple, stick it right in the little hole. And then you're going to tighten the very small eyeglass size um, screw. And then you're going to put the other one in the hole and you're going to tighten that screw. After you've put the wires in their correct holes and you've tightened the little screws to make sure that they're secured again, we're just going to secure this back onto the bottom, just like that. And you're going to put the top part on, the same way that it came off, the threaded side. So once you get that bad boy back on, you're going to pull, push the L bracket back in so as to lock it in place. The same way that you pulled it out before, we're just going to lock it so that it stays put. And when you try to take it off, it won't unturn. It's really snug. Okay, then you're going to pull the bottom cord so that it lines up. Push the rod up so that it exposes the threaded portion of the rod that goes through the lamp. See the threaded portion right there? And then you're going to pull the cord tighter so that you can tighten the lamp. Where you're at 
now you're probably going to want to test your lamp to make sure it works. You take the plug, plug it in. I'm just going to pop the bulb in there. Oh, boom! He works! Then, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the bulb in. You're going to replace the finial. Same way you took it off, you're just going to squeeze. Slide it in. Both sides. Find yourself a cute lampshade. I've just taken the one off my other one. Lampshade. Pop on the finial. And there you have it. You've got your own cool puffer fish lamp. You can, of course, bend the harp a little bit so that everything sits flush and it's sitting how you like. Once you get to see him, you can pick off the little foam that's bugging you, slide him down a little bit if you like, if you want him to be more level or whatnot. So, now I've got a cool set of two pufferfish lamps.